Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the drugs causing erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction is a condition when a person cannot maintain erection for a satisfactory sexual intercourse. Drugs causing erectile dysfunction may be prescription drug, may be over-the-counter drug, may be the substance of abuse. Let's get the drugs causing erectile dysfunction. Diuretics, which increases the output of urine used in the management of hypertension also. Like that of thiazide diuretics, spironolactin, also the loop diuretics like that of the furosemide. Antihypertensive drug, centrally acting antihypertensive drug, methyl dopa, clonidine, guanabens, guanafacin. This antihypertensive drug block the sympathetic outflow from the central nervous system through the brain stem. Propanol is a beta blocker and other beta blocker, the even the selective beta blockers. Levitalol is both a beta and alpha 1 blocker. Guanethidine, this is the drug that prevent the release of epinephrine. It prevent the release of stored epinephrine. This is an antihypertensive. Some ganglion blocking drug like trimethoprim, mecamylamine. These are also antihypertensive drug. So many antihypertensive drug causes erectile dysfunction or importance like that of the diuretics. Then anti-cancer drug like liprolide and gosaralin, these are gonadotropin releasing hormone analog, okay, used in metastatic carcinoma of the prostate. Prostate carcinoma may go to the vertical column and premenopausal women with advanced breast cancer. So these are the drug, liprolide and gosarlin. These are gonadotropin releasing hormone analog. Gonadotropin releasing hormone is coming from the hypothalamus. Okay. So this anti-cancer drug will lead to that those have adverse effect like erectile dysfunction. Person is unable to maintain erection of the penis for a satisfactory sexual activity, the male partner, anti-hyperlipidemic drug, HMG coenzyme reductase inhibitor, the statin group of drug, we have many statin group of drug, one of them is the lower statin. So that decreases the blood cholesterol level, they maintain the good lipid profile, but they have adverse effect like erectile dysfunction also many other adverse effect like myositis or myopathy anti-peptic ulcer drug s2 blocker the notorious is the cimetidine jantac better than this is the renetidine that does not cause the erectile dysfunction but cimetidine causes erectile dysfunction may lead to gynecomastia, may lead to leukopenia. So cimetidine is also, its duration reaction is also shorter than that of renetidine. So renetidine is the, is the preferred drug, S2 blocker to manage peptic ulcer, not the cimetidine. Neuroleptic drug, drug used to maintain, to manage psychosis, schizophrenia, okay like that of the drug chlorpromagin, thioridagin, haloperidol, flufinagin, thiothexin. Okay, this is a very popular drug. This is a neuroleptic drug that has, this has adverse effect like erectile dysfunction.
okay so we got that then antidepressant drug there are many groups of antidepressant drug very popular selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor fluxetine we have the trade name of one of them is the Projac. tricyclic tricyclic antidepressant like amitriptyline we have other like nortriptyline and many others mau inhibitor phenylgen also the other like tenenciptamine mau means monoamine oxidase inhibitor that may lead to erectile dysfunction importance but most important problem is the unpredictable hypertension serotonin syndrome due to tyramine containing food intake in, in the person who is taking mau inhibitors these drugs does not cause serotonin syndrome but they are associated with rectal dysfunction mau may be associated with some type of rectal dysfunction but most important problem is serotonin serotonin syndrome or unpredictable hypertension Revoxetine is a selective norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor is used as an antidepressant that may that has adverse effect like sexual dysfunction or erectile dysfunction inhalation anesthetic is a very good anesthetic nitrous oxide but the person who is exposed to this or who has access to nitrous oxide they may abuse it and that abuser nitrous oxide abuser develops may develop erectile dysfunction as an adverse effect or abuse of nitrous oxide maybe a dentist maybe an anesthesiologist drugs causing erectile dysfunction other anti-mascarinic drug like propenthalin that is a quaternary ammonium compound anti-emetic drug may be used in the management of cancer chemotherapy to prevent nausea vomiting also other uses as an anti-emetic anti-nausea anti-vomiting drug like metoclopramide and domperidone okay these are the drug those causes erectile dysfunction we have also others we must make an import give importance like alcohol alcohol may increase aggressiveness during sexual activity but eventually it may lead to importance or sexual or erectile dysfunction of the male ACAM PROSET NMDA antagonist this is used to treat in the management of alcoholism okay it it suppresses the craving for for alcohol it work on the brain ACAM PROSET this is used to avoid alcohol syndrome alcohol withdraw alcohol syndrome is managed by counseling okay and also by social support this is another drug that is used to decrease craving for alcohol antihistamine okay this may be over the counter antihistamine benzodiazepine these are the angiolytic sleeping pills so sexual activity depends on person's alertness if the person is sedated hypnotized or he he is not very much conscious alert then his sexual performance will be decreased so this drug all of them are associated with erectile dysfunction along with all we have discussed all the drugs and that's all about the drugs causing erectile dysfunction if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now